If the northern Swat Valley is considered the Switzerland of Pakistan, the iconic Swat River is its beating heart. Touched by its natural beauty, Winston Churchill once used to send his dispatches from here. But now a growing population, neglect and lack of planning is turning the river poisonous. With thousands of tons of untreated waste ending up here every day, it's quickly becoming a landfill for the two million people of the district. The impact is already being felt by people living downstream, and all this is being done legally by the local administration. Miles away from the site, the water from underground wells has changed colour and smell. The dumping of garbage in the river by the government has wrecked our lives. Diseases such as hepatitis, TB and even cancer is on the rise. Sewage water is polluting our groundwater table. Our children and families are suffering. Who should we complain to when the government itself is dumping and polluting the river water? It's not just the riverbank landfill. Untreated sewage also flows in from homes and businesses. Swat has many solid waste management issues. There is a lack of funding and there is no landfill site. And authorities say it takes too much money to transfer the waste outside of the city. The province's chief minister has admitted what he calls an alarming rapid deterioration of the environment and that there is no space for further delays. But he's been in office for nearly two years and not a lot has changed. Local officials seem to have given up on government funds and are now appealing to international donors. There's no doubt that we're dumping garbage at the river site, and we can't deny that this is hazardous to both human and aquatic life, and even to the environment. But unfortunately, we don't have any other option, as well as resources to take it to any other location. Nor do we have the technology to treat it. We're definitely looking towards donor agencies if they can come forward to help us save the environment. Every year, tens of thousands of visitors flock to Swat. Locals complain that tourists disregard the hygiene and cleanliness of the river. Environmentalists believe tailor-made ecotourism can help raise awareness even for the residents of the area. Unfortunately, many of these places where, uh, which attract tourism, we have seen these places being converted into garbage bins. It is the responsibility of the government to have policies where waste management could be connected to industry, as well as you have to give infrastructure where people, if they are throwing any garbage, you cannot litter, say that we are managing the waste or there's clean and green Pakistan. So unfortunately, these kind of irresponsible behavior at the tourist level, as well as at the government level, is lethal for the environment. Upstream, the river still flows serenely, but those who enjoy the clear glacial waters are afraid of what could be to come. Sama Benjavid Al Jazeera, SWAT.